So I picked my micro spikes up in Ratwood. I went ahead and sent home the ice axe because I heard that Baden-Powell was not that bad. Even with the snow uh, that we got in town while, you know, while I was in Ratwood. Um, but I just want to have my micros just in case. The snow. Hmm. I wonder if anyone heard it fall. Heading up Baden Powell now, and uh, not quite halfway, but it's a doozy. Pretty steep, but thankfully a good many switchbacks. So. Uh, about halfway up is a water source, so I think lunchtime is gonna be there. monument for Baden Powell who was actually the like founder of Boy Scouts uh, or the father of Boy Scouts however you want to put it so that's pretty neat that's what this is all about and I learned that as a Girl Scout when I was little so this sign here is information regarding this here tree up on this ridge Mount Baden Powell and its name is Wally Waldron after another fellow who dedicated a lot of his time to scouting. Apparently it is 1500 years old. It's crazy. It's had a pretty view all these years. So this dark cloud is rolling in. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's not. Hmm. Thankfully it's not rain but snow. White rain is better than wet rain. I will take it. I just don't think I could ever get tired of looking at this. Ever. I'm still just captivated. If all of this cloudy, foggy action doesn't remind you of uh, Into the Mystic by Van Morrison, chances are you haven't heard it. We have a road walk now due to an endangered frog species for uh, like a four mile stretch of trail. We are on the road. He's climbing a oh. oh. Someone was nice enough to uh, leave note that the devil in plant form is here in this area. This is all poodle dog bush. It's nasty, nasty stuff. This here is a glorious pit toilet. It's wonderful finding these because normally they are accompanied by trash cans. So you get to use like an actual sit upon toilet and uh, throw your trash away. So as of right now, uh, Perk and Chance are ahead of me. I think about 15 miles or so. Um, they were about five ahead of me the way that I went into Ratwood. Uh, and, you know, when I got back on the trail and they got back on, they were still five ahead of me. So, um, and I guess in these last couple of days, they've pushed a little bit harder. Uh, so, I'm not sure if I'll catch up with them before I have to go home for graduation or not. I hope so. But um, if not, the trail works in funny ways and uh, 
you know, there's going to be like a bottleneck in Kennedy Meadows right before the Sierras. So maybe I'll catch them again. Mile 400, 15% done. So it never ceases to amaze me. Like, you know, some folks like watching TV, but for me, uh, I don't know the most like entertaining or like captivating things are just like the simplest things in nature, like like clouds, you know, blanketing the mountains and there being little islands popping up. It's like an ocean of clouds. I mean, <laughs> it's just so pretty. You know, even the wildfire areas to me, they're they're pretty because. You know, it's just, it's just nature. I mean, of course not all of them are started naturally, but wildfires are natural. Um, and just, I don't know, like all the different landscapes and, and different things and fire telling you nature is beautiful. all the simple things. It's truly hiker TV.